Hugel culture is wood buried in soil. As the years pass, the wood rots and acts like a sponge, becoming a source of water and nutrients for plants. Hugel culture can be built by hand or with machinery. Hugel culture works on urban lots and large acreage. Smaller hugel culture beds can reduce irrigation needs. We watered it once. And larger hugel culture beds can eliminate irrigation needs. This area has not been irrigated at all. Here is nearly a kilometer of hugel culture beds that were built and planted in early May of 2012. And this video is taken just a few months later in mid September. There was zero irrigation. Once these hugel culture beds get to be about three years old, the plant growth will probably be five times greater. Take a careful look at the contrast between the lush greenness of the unirrigated hugel culture and the brown dormant unirrigated hillside in the background. You know, it's safe to say that the plants that haven't gone through any of this irrigation are, are still extremely vital. And even in the hot si time of this year, when you look at all the properties around and their barley fields and, and even some of the alfalfa fields are, are brown, this area has been, been vital and green throughout all of the summer. The recipe is wood and brush covered with soil. Immediately plant seeds. A bit of mulch helps. Here, straw is pinned to a hugel culture bed with a network of branches. These are nails that we created just with the shape of the branches. Um, and this side is just about five or six inches, but we cut them so that it's about two or three feet um, as much as we could on that other length, uh, the other length there, and you hammer it in um, and take these other branches and support. Depending on which aspect the hugel culture is facing, it elicits different qualities in the different kinds of plants that grow. Um, and for the plants that grow on the north side, uh, regard, I guess a few examples are the radishes, the peas, the lettuces, the carrots, they're particularly sweet. And on the things that grow on the southwest or the south side, they have a lot more of a bite to them. In lettuce, it, it, that bite is bitterness. In mustards, it's hotness. Um, and zucchinis are, are another great example. On the north side, they're extremely tender and sweet, but on the south side, I would describe them as um, mealy and almost protein-like. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com, where we talk about hugel culture, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. Who go culture? Who go culture? Who go culture? Who go culture? Who go culture?